AXS Studios in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, the mecca of professional wrestling. This is the Impact Provincial Wrestling Federation. This plane is landing. Top, top. Oh my God. We're going to be hanging ten and getting laid. And sucking dogs. IPWF starts now. now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Impact Provincial Wrestling Federation, IPWF. Tonight, we have some incredible action for all of you. A body slam challenge, a blindfold match. Loser leaves IPWF with the International Commonwealth Television Championship on the line. My name is Giuseppe Scavelli Jr., alongside former champion Sexton Hardcastle. Sexton, are you ready for this tonight? Sexton, are you ready? Let's do this, yeah! Yeah, let's do this! Doug Stevenson, take it away! Greetings, wrestling fans, and welcome to another action-packed Impact Provincial Wrestling Federation card. Tonight, we are being promoted by Giuseppe Schiavelli. These matches are sanctioned and supervised under the Provincial Athletic Commission. Chuck Fader is the commissioner. Chief Deputy is Douglas Chevalier. The timekeeper tonight at the bell will be James Trepanier. The attending physician will be Ariel Scherrier. I'm sorry if I screwed that up. The referees assigned for this night will be Brandon Toll and Chris Levin. I'm your ring announcer for Impact Provincial Wrestling. I'm Doug Stevenson, and we're ready to go with the action. Introducing first, from the streets of Halifax, 190 pounds, Rip Razor. Rip Razor. He looks good. He's a gutter bum. I saw Rip earlier this afternoon, Sexton, Here's listening the to The fun. Clash. He yeah. comes from less Looks than 30 good. minutes away. He's at a maximum 175 toppings. He has rapid delivery Pete. He's, he's got pizza. Rapid delivery Pete. I'm gonna get some pizza. Rapid delivery, Pete. How can you not love this athlete, this individual, this wrestler coming into the territory? The pizza is ready! Not only competing, not only pulling off bombastic and radical moves, but he's also a pizza delivery guy. If you order a pizza, you're gonna get it rapidly from Rapid Delivery Pete. The opening bell rings. Sexton Hardcastle alongside Giuseppe Scavelli Jr. For our opening contest. Sexton, do you have a scouting report on Rip Razor or Rapid Delivery Pete? Uh, rapid Delivery Pete has pizza, I think. Should Oh, that's those fighting words. I ain't ordering pizza. It's like he's got the pizza, but he doesn't want it. We'd love some pizza here. Look, yeah. At ringside. Your old man doesn't pay enough to buy pizza. Hey, that's my father. Yeah. Are you sure? I am, and I'm going to write everything. You, you actually look a bit more like Bruce Hart than your father. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, it's all right, kid. All right. Here comes the action. What's Rapid up? Delivery Pete is actually competing in in flip flops. 
That's unusual, I think. You came out here tonight with one shoe on. Wow. He has one shoe, too. Rapid delivery, Pete. You may see him on the weekends delivering your dinner. But you can catch him every week here on IPWF. Is he is he having to do that because your old man pays? What did you just say? Your old man doesn't pay very well. My father pays the going rate for all the athletes here at IPWF. There was the pinning opportunity there. Rapid delivery. Pete actually delivers his pizza, Sexton, on a skateboard. Referee for this match is Brandon Toll. Sexton, like are you feeling this, okay? I like this kid from Halifax. He's good. Look at him. High hip lock takeover. You like Rip Razor? I do. He's uh, got his own style. He's a, one of those punk rockers they talk about. I mentioned that he was listening to The Clash earlier this afternoon. Did you spend any time with Rip Razor? Uh, we went out for a dart earlier. What the, What is a dart? A cigarette. Oh. Cigarette. He's a... Uh, He's a well-conditioned, I mean, he's put together, bro. Rapid delivery, Pete. Those are, those are close fists. Well, that was a rake to the eyes by Rip Razor. This is going to be a three count. Cover. Referee Brandon Toll tells us it was just two. Now, why? Now, this chin lock here, this is a very painful hold because what he's doing is he's cranking the neck. It's a submission. Sexton Hardcastle has won championships all throughout Canada. Oh, look at that. Wow, high hip lock. Big move there by. He should go for a pin. Arm drag. Rapid delivery, Pete. Well, big drop kick. That could be all. Rip Razor appears to be in trouble. Oh, look at this now. High slam. You don't see moves like this all the time. Wow, this is... Calls this the special delivery splash. That's all. And a victory for Rapid Delivery Pete. Here's your winner, Rapid Delivery Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, we now send things over to Iceman and this interview. Hello, everybody. I'm your new commentary interview superstar, the Iceman. And I'm here with the IPWF, and we're having a great time. Aren't we having a great time, everybody? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you right now two gentlemen that just arrived in a limousine. So I'm going to ask you right now to show some respect for the television champion, Julian Cumberbun, and manager to the stars, Sonny Sanders, everybody. Let's bring him out right now. Sonny Sanders, manager to the stars. Julian Cumberbun. Wow, what a beautiful title. Now, I got a question for you, both of you gentlemen, right now. You got a big match coming up right here tonight. I'm talking about downtown Daddy Brown. He's coming. And you guys had some problems with him in the past. Today, you got to settle the score, Mr. Uh, Julian Cumberbund, you're looking great. The International Commonwealth Television Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this belt was custom made all the way in Europe. It was brought here with security. He's got it here for us. He's going to defend it. And manager to the stars, Sonny Sanders, what do you got to say? My name is Sonny Sanders, and this is your International Commonwealth Television Champion. You see, downtown Daddy Brown started a rumor that me and Julian are all blow and no show. But the truth of the matter is, we're playing you all like instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
So after Julian sends downtown Daddy Brown out of town, we're going for a couple of cheeseburgers. <laughs> With extra pickles. Yeah! Oh, the pickles aren't for you. The pickles are for me and Sonny only. Got it? Because I would like to make something very clear to everyone in attendance tonight and watching at home right now. This town would be nothing without the champ. There wouldn't be any money in this town. There wouldn't be any women in this town. And if I didn't have the strap, the pay window wouldn't be open for all the boys in the back. So instead of booing good old Julian and Sonny, you should be coming over and groveling to the champion. Everyone should be thanking me for the house. Listen here, I know we've got this big loser leaves town match tonight and you clearly think you're gonna take my International Television Commonwealth Championship? Well, guess what? Even if you win this belt, you'll never have the lifestyle of Julian Cumberbun. So, quit dreaming, downtown Daddy Brown. Well, check this out. I know all these people didn't pay that good hard money to hear you talk about what you think is this, what you think is that, and everything you got. As far as I'm concerned, all your riches, you can stick them where the sun don't shine. Yeah. And tonight, I'm going to take your prize possession, that International Commonwealth Television Championship, and send you packing because guess what? You may be from uptown, but I'm going to send you downtown. Yeah. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. Hey, you get up in my hey, face. Hey, you better get up hey, my face. We are hey, don't get your hands off. We are gentlemen. Get your hands off. Hey, gentlemen. Let's do this like two good old brothers. Let me leave, and you guys can take your photo, because I want no violence. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want. You're not getting here tonight. Downtown. Man here with you. I'm gonna bring on my guests right now, an amazing tag team doing great things all over this great province. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Excessive Force. Ladies and gentlemen, excessive force right here tonight in loving color, doing great things all over this province. And I'm telling you, there's a new team in town, all right? And they're looking 
for an opportunity to take you guys on and, and move their way up the ladder. I'm talking about the working men. What do you guys think? Tick talk. Tick talk. Tick talk. Your time is winding down, hard workers. You're about to breathe your last breath. And we're going to do it the only way we know how. Tell them, Pablo. Hard work. Hard work. Oats and Hall. Hard work is not having shoes. Hard work is not having boats. But when the big storm comes, we'll get in our boats and sail away. Because here comes the pummel. Here comes the plunder. Because we are excessive force. force. Yeah! 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard him. You saw him right over there, 1,500 pounds. From the Big Bang itself, it's plunder, it's pummel, it's excessive force. And the opponents from Peterborough, Ontario, weighing in at enough to drive the women wild, Oats and Hall, the hard Oats in the traditional vest and bow tie. Hall opting for the suspender look. I like those suspenders. And look, Sexton, they're going up to where you tried to go before the show started. What? I was never up there. You were sleeping. These guys are uh, these guys are popular with the ladies. This is what I'm hearing. Oats and Hall, the opposition, the hard workers. You know, Gordon, what they say is that if you've got the people behind you, it's a huge advantage. Huge advantage. My name is Giuseppe Jr. Big size differential here. The advantage goes to excessive force. Oh, look there now. Don't turn your Never backs. Don't turn your back on your opponent. Never, never do that. Sexton, can I ask you a question? Did you pick up what? It's 10 o'clock. That, that wasn't the question. Look at that. He's quivering. Excessive force the referee talked. needs to get this under control. Excessive force said it was hard to not have shoes or a boat. Can you elaborate on what they were speaking about? I sold my boat, very expensive. But having no shoes, I mean, that's tough. You grow up tough, but that's the basics, right? No wonder they're in a bad mood, Giuseppe. Well, you have to wonder if the excessive force will be challenging in the future for tag team gold here at I've IP. I've got to think. And that's that, that dangerous headbutt. And another one. Plunder in the ring right now with Oates. I think Plunder is the smarter of the two. This is what I got from the interview. Also getting word that just got a note handed to me. Excessive force will be featured in the IPWF Atari game set to come out in a couple oh, wow. of weeks. That's cool. Well, you, there's a cover. I set a new record on Pong the other day on my Atari. You and I provide the commentary track for the Atari video game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pummel taking advantage. It's been all pummel so far. We're still waiting to see his partner, uh, Giuseppe. <laughs> Giuseppe Jr. My dad writes I'll the just, checks I'll around just here. I'll call you Junior. That's what everyone in the back calls you. Sexton. Here comes Pummel. Yeah, Pummel. Pummel's a veteran of this team. The ve veteran. Wow, that's, that's a veteran move right there. You want to cut the ring in half. Keep Weird. your opponent in your corner. It's great strategy. We heard from the international 
Commonwealth Television Champion Julian Cumberbun with Sonny. What a great champion. Sonny, oh, you like Julian? I do like Julian. Julian and Sonny Sanders, and they're preparing for the Loser Leaves Town main event match tonight against Downtown Daddy Brown. How much do you think that suit cost of Julian earlier? That, that was a, a for sure a $350 to $400 suit. I mean, that's big money. That's high end. That's bespoke tailoring. That's what we call it. Look at the power. Pummel. Oates able to take advantage momentarily. There goes Oates. Wow, look at that now. He's a house of fire. Hall comes in. Now he's going to go after both men. This is the bigger of the two, Giuseppe. Look at the shots from Hall. Haymakers. This is radical action. This is double team innovation. Look at that big double lariat. He likes to showboat. I think he's setting him up for the hard work shuffle, Giuseppe. Oates is calling for it. Hall with oh, a the whole ring shook. Massive body slam. Referee needs to get this under control. The hard workers trying to send excessive force out of the territory. Wild punch missed. That's uh, a tag. Was that a tag? Yes, Sexton, it was. Whoa. Oh, what's going on? Holy Shoulders down by the door. A huge what victory God. for Big the Hard Workers. I've never seen a double team sunset flip before. You did tonight. Wow. Whoa, oh. it's, it's not it's not over. Excessive force, pummel and plunder. Living up to their namesake. Sexton. This is just dangerous at this point. We need to get some officials out here. I thought this match was over. The match is over. The hard workers victorious. Oh, no. No, not the hats. Not the hats. Oh, oh my oh. God. That is heinous. That is uncalled for. He crushed the top hats of excessive force, Giuseppe. The hard workers have hats. Of the hard workers. Excessive force doesn't even oh, get them away from us. Have shoes. Keep excessive force away from us. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new tag team coming to the territory. Check it out. So like the other day, I was hitting the bottom Dude, dude right? No, really? I was carving, I was scratching. No way. I even hit the bottom of the turn. That's impossible, bro. It's over hitting it. Oh, oh my bow, bro. Oh. Then I realized. What? David Chain. The new way. Dude, bro, that sucks. <laughs> we make our debuts at IPWF like next week, bro. I'm gonna flip my... Hanging 10 and getting laid. Welcome back to IPWF. All right. Our next match coming to you and to the ring now. A young up and comer from Niagara Falls, New York. 218 pounds. He is Johnny Swinger. The man to my right from Scarborough, Ontario, Mr. Buck Gunderson. Sexton, it looks like you want to say something. Swinger is an innovator. And I'm a little worried because some of the things that I've seen him trying in the ring are just a little too out there, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna hurt himself. IPWF got some VHS footage of Swinger. He is quite electric. He, he was up on the second turnbuckle in the match I saw. It was absolutely ludicrous. You see he's very flashy, flamboyant, rake to the back. 
Watch this now. Sexton, many people are saying that Look Johnny at that running lariat. Swingers on the cutting edge. Recently in Japan. Well traveled. Look at the high backdrop. God. That's the sort of power move that see Johnny very well Swinger put together. Sexton, is IPWF ready for someone like Johnny Swinger? I, I don't know. I mean, he certainly has innovative offense. It's hard to prepare when the moves haven't even been invented yet, Giuseppe. Yeah, he seems like a, someone I don't know if we're ready to see here and a new Gosh. age thinker, perhaps. Did you get to spend much time with him this afternoon? Yeah, you know, we went out. We had uh, he had his uh, Cutlass Supreme. We took that for a ride. That was pretty cool. He's got a he's got a gimmick bag. I like lots of gimmicks. Look at the look at the look at the guns. Look at the guns on this man, Giuseppe. Massive arms on the body oh, of Johnny and Swinger. That's a forearm. That was not a close fist. Referee Brandon oh, Cole wow. right there. This man, Johnny Swinger, he must work out all the time. Yeah, he just, he's in the gym 24-7. And this, this, this Buck Sunderson, he's something. Look, at pull the strap down. This is fixing to get crazy. Oh, oh my God, what was that? That may be the beginning Some of the end. Some sort of a modified atomic drop. Look at this. He told us earlier that's called the Swinger Neckbreaker. Well, I've never seen it before. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Johnny Swinger. Folks, we've got some brand new technology here at IPWF. I understand they call it instant replay. Look at this, the Swinger Neckbreaker. It looks even more intimidating when you see it in, like, Re replayed. From what we understand, there is somebody coming to IPWF. This news is unbelievable. Nobody thought it would happen. Frank the Butcher here in IPWF, and I'm frantic as ever. And I'm here chopping through the competition, and I'll be beaten through the competition. And Doug, when you're tired of playing in the minor leagues and you want to jump territories, Come on over to IPWF, and we'll be the new tag team champion. Chop, chop, beat me. I'm going to need some more of this. If Frank the Butcher, thank you, if Frank the Butcher is going to be coming here to IPWF. S Sexton? Frank the Butcher? Frank the Butcher is the most dangerous man in pro wrestling, in my opinion. Well, Frank the Butcher is coming to IP. <laughs> WF uh, very soon. I don't know why I need all of these. Nonetheless, Markers. ladies and gentlemen, our Same broadcast though. colleague, our new interviewer here at IPWF, his name is Iceman. He is standing by right now with an interview. Iceman? Hey, thank you, Giuseppe, for that. Iceman here for the IPWF. We got a big tag team right now I'm going to bring out the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Rough Riders. are tough they're not messing around are you ready you're gonna be in action tonight what do you gotta say we are the rough riders and we're gonna come on you like no one's ever come on you before the rough riders are taking over this town we're taking over this territory because the rough riders are as dirty as it gets and as clean as it comes daddy we just stepped off the private jet this morning just to find out that we're booked in this gosh darn tomfoolery tonight. That's right. But you know what? I can't imagine that four men would want to step in the ring with us. I can't imagine that eight men 
would want to step in the ring with us. I can't imagine that anybody in their mind would want to step in the ring with us. Now, let me tell you something right here. You got us, the, you got the Rough Riders. There is nothing bigger than when the four of us get together. There is no holiday bigger, no event bigger. You got the tag team champions right here. You got me and Lady Bird. We are the enforcers. Yeah. Pound for pound, we are the best damn wrestlers in this year federation. You tell them, Lady Bird. Let me tell you a little something about the Rough Riders and what we do. It doesn't matter who steps in the ring with us because we're gonna ride right over you. And I promise it's gonna be rough. And when we're done here, we're all gonna go back to the Marriott, baby. And you might as well call me the leader of the Rat Brigade because the Tunnel of Love is open all night long, Daddy! Johnny Swinger here, and I'll be live this Monday night in Wayburn, Saskatchewan. My eyes are wild, and my pants are on fire. We're gonna strut, stroll, rock and roll, baby. Woo! Bro, what are you doing? I'm totally bummed. There's not a single wave in this area, bro. So Madison had Alberta. Excessive force. We can't surf, so we're gonna surf all over your butts. We're gonna hang ten and get laid. Leftbridge, Alberta, Canada. This Wednesday, you're gonna get to know Bill Day. Too sexy for a frown, build him up, and I'll break him down, brother. <laughs> well, hey, this is Ray, Race Trek. And my daddy told me that I was born with alligator blood, a snake's been running through my veins. Now, I don't know what that means, but all I know is I wanna go fast. And this Thursday, Cam Loops, British Columbia, I'm gonna ride over the competition and I'm gonna go fast. All right, what a match we got for you coming up now from Malibu, California. Let's get physical with Jazzy Fitbody. I gotta say, Sexton, Jazzy Fitbody, she's doing something here to my cigar. Her opponent to my right, Agnes. Beerheart. Agnes Beerheart, thank you. You know, even with all your daddy's money, I don't think you could ever get a woman like that fitness model. You could never get physical with her, bro. I beg to differ, but I'll keep my personal life to myself. Jazzy. You just described your personal life yourself. Jazzy, easy sexton. <laughs> Jazzy Fitbody here and Agnes Beerhart one-on-one -on -one in women's competition. Oh, look, wait, you, look at this, look at this. It's Sebastian Baker, the hit maker. He, he won't leave Jazzy Fitbody alone. That's a good code he's got. Last week, Sebastian Baker, he, 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 he told Jazzy Fitbody, you need to sign the contract that I offered you. Oh, look at this. That's wow, new. that's a bicycle kick. Nicely done. Hey, nice and Jazzy one. has now seen Sebastian Baker. Sebastian likes what he sees, if you know what I mean. Double axe handle, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I have no idea why Sebastian Baker won't leave Jazzy Fitbody alone. Well, I think it's obvious, isn't it? Please elaborate for She's us. She's a great wrestler. Giuseppe. She wants nothing to do with Sebastian Baker. Suplex. Look at that. By that Agnes. Was a, that was a beautiful textbook suple. What did you call it? A su suplex? I've heard. It's a suple. I've heard different. A suple. Variations of it. Pat O'Connor calls it by God. Fans here in Mississauga on their feet. Look at the velocity here. Ladies and gentlemen, malfunction at the junction. Jazzy Fitbody told us earlier this Woo. afternoon that she is the highest high flyer in all of women's wrestling. You know, uh, I could call you Giuseppe Fitbody, 
if we put an S and an H instead of an F in front of fit, you know what I'm saying? Hold on a second, let me write that. You can't say oh, that. Look at this now, she caught her. Big forearm. What a block. This is the physical training of Ms. Fitbody. She is Huge an advantage. aerobics instructor when she's not competing inside the squared circle. Oh, oh can boy. she get her up? She got her up. Is this gonna be what I think it is? She's doing squats. Wow. <laughs> she hasn't even broken a sweat, Josh, says Zappy. <laughs> Look at this. That's just innovative offense. So colorful is Jazzy Fitbody. Yeah, she spends a lot of time on her wardrobe. And now, look at this, danger time. Going up top, I don't recommend this at all. Oh, oh my god! A huge, massive splash! A victory for Jazzy! Here's your winner, the lovely Jazzy Fitbody! Congratulations to Jazzy Fitbody. And now you've got Seb, the hit maker. He's getting in the ring. Incredible, incredible victory, Jazzy. See, it's wins like that, it's moves like that. That's the reason I've had my eye on you for the past six months. But nobody, nobody has played hard to get with the hit maker, Sebastian Baker, like you have. See, all I want is for you to put your name on the dotted line and join the hottest act in professional wrestling. That's why last week, I gave you one week to decide. So Jazzy, now it's time. See, this could be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. You do favors for me, and I'll do favors for you. That and I suggest you don't say no, because you might get struck with some bad luck. Now, Jazzy, sign the contract. He's pressuring her. Don't listen to these people. Think of what I can do for your career, Jazzy. He is a hit maker. There it She's is. She signed. Yes, the newest signee for the hit maker, Sebastian Baker, Jazzy Fitbody. Yes! I never thought I'd see the... Oh! She is ripping up the contract. Right in the nuts. Good for Jazzy Fitbody. Not listening to this no scumbag, the hit maker. Oh. You can't deny he's made a lot of stars. Last week, the $300,000 man offered $2,000 to anyone alive who could body slam the behemoth Congo Kong. This week, I'm up in the ante. <laughs> Team number one first from Gold River, BC, Tim Burr. A lumberjack, Tim Burr. That's Mr. Burr to you. Mr. Burr. Lumberjacks, Sexton. What about, what about axe handle? They're usually heavy hitters. Powerfully His built young man. From the Sir John A. McDonald High School, put your hands together for Mr. Jim Nasium. Now that's a great pair of shorts that Jim Nasium is wearing. Yeah, those are nice ones. Looks like Larry Bird or Kevin McHale. I like that he's got them pulled up real high. 
More gives you more Supports athletic. Supports your obliques. More athletic ability. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, if you had legs like that, Giuseppe, you'd show them too. How do you know I don't? And their partner, straight off the site, weighing 34 cinder blocks, Bill Ding. The cinder block to pound differential is about one to 32. Yeah, that's correct. And I'll tell you, Bill Ding, the evil construction worker. Why is he evil? That's just what my, my paper says. And finally, all the way from Daytona, Florida, Mr. Ray Strack. Ray Strack. Know him well. What a talent. Always full of energy, Giuseppe. Look at him go. Ray Strack. He doesn't know how to go slow. He loves to go fast. Jim Burr, we all. Gymnasium, Bill Ding, and, and Ray Strack. Their opponent, yeah. They are the IPW Tag Team Champions from Every Man's Desires. We got Georgia Cobb. We got Mildred Moore. We got Lady Bird Johnston. And we got Blanche Ardmore. Together they are the Rough Riders. Earlier this evening, they said. Eight men wouldn't want to step into the ring with the Rough Riders. If you want to order a Rough Riders t-shirt, you know our P.O. box. Shipping and handling is included. Well, wow, that's a good deal. I'd like to say hello to all the shut-ins out there who sent their cards and letters to us. We read every one of them, don't we, Giuseppe? Every week together, we do. We do. I don't know. I think it's it's a form of insanity to want to be in the ring with the Rough Riders. Do you agree? I do. Georgia Cobb, Blanche Ardmore, Lady Bird Johnston, and Mildred Moore make up the Rough Riders. The ring bell has scared Sexton into You okay, Sexton? Ring the bell. They, they did ring Right, the bell. so call the action. Me, it call it down the middle. It hasn't started yet. But that is not proper work I'm concerned about the axe handle, to be perfectly honest. Oh, it is a very... It's a weapon. Shot down I'm not sure why they're allowing that at ringside. You're not allowed to say that with Bill. Bill Ding getting the start with Blanche Ardmore. Imagine as a construction worker, Bill Ding probably meets his fair share of the ladies, Giuseppe, when he's on the site. I don't know if they actually meet them. The ladies walk by, they catcall them, and they get ignored. This Bill Ding, look at the side. Well, look at the athletic ability, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing some personal grooming. That's one of those uh, electric shavers. Why wouldn't Bill Ding Hoping do that? Hoping to get one of those for Christmas. Nice kick there. That's the uh, karate coming into play. And here comes the powerhouse. Georgia Cobb. He goes fast, but only in one direction. It's always a left turn with these guys. Easy for What's Georgia. Doing? I want to go Look at Ducks him go. The clothesline. Look at him go. He's in third gear. That's fourth gear. Is there a fifth gear, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. He's gonna blow a tire. Oh, he changed directions. This is insane. Slice flip. That could be all. Georgia Cobb. He's gearing down now. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That's a pinning opportunity, folks. That is. That'll usually be enough to get the three count. Georgia is packing a punch tonight. Oh yeah, he's going into low gear now. Maybe time for a pit stop. Ray Strack will pull into pit lane, and here comes Jim 
Nasia. What a physical specimen is Jim Nasia. And Milchard Moore. Oh, this young lady's no slouch job, uh, just said. No, she's definitely not. Georgia and Blanche are the Southeastern Provisional Tag Team Champions. Jim He's running this like a drill, and I like it. He's a yeah. gym teacher during the day. I gathered that. Look at that, yeah. He's been practicing his, uh, yeah, look at that. That's a hell of a workout, those jumping jacks. Sexton, do you think it's smart that he competes with a whistle? Well, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a way for him to exert his authority and to control the action. Well, uh, timeout now. That's the good thing about the whistle. You call a timeout. No timeouts in IPWF. Now here's Timber, big Timber. And Lady Bird Johnston. Ooh. That'll chafe you up. Those are. Oh, it's a bear hug. Ask him, Raph. Ask him. He's biting her. I did not see that. Timber. Chop her down to size. There we go. He may need that axe handle. My God. One didn't work. No. No, don't do it. What is this? Sexton. What is this? What the? That was a double axe handle. There's the cover, pinning opportunity and a kick out. My God, the innovation. Not one, but two axe handles at the same time, and I can't believe she's still up. The fans here in Canada are chanting for Tim Burr. Here comes Mildred Moore in off the tag. What's she doing? Oh, oh, Mildred. Wow, wow look at the power. A lot of strength. Oh, oh my God, I think she just blew her knee. As she buckled like a, like a tire blown out for race track. Wow. Eat that, Blanche. Georgia. She goes, goes really fast. Lady Bird. And the Rough Riders are in trouble. The martial arts ability. This guy needs to slow down. He's never going to make it in this business. Ray Strack. Go, go. Calls for a goal. Well, well I'd, I'd say that's, that's four points. Cover. There's no game where you get four points for kicking something. Ray He's going to blow a tire going up there. This is too much. Off the top row. Oh. Nobody's home for Ray Strack. Katie, bar the door. What the hell was that move? It's Bedlam in Canada. And a cover. And the Rough Riders have won this match. She dropped him on his head. Did you see that? Yeah. That's dangerous. Yes. That's dangerous like, a, like, like eating DDT or something. Maybe you just fell onto something there. Like a danger, like DDT. Maybe we, maybe that's what we call it. Maybe that's what we call it, is the DDT. I like it. Only an IPWF, a victory for the Rough Riders as we take you back to last week, ladies and gentlemen, and the Body Slam Challenge. And this was the scene last week when the challenge was thrown down, $2,000, Ali stepped up and he couldn't do it. That's just too much man, oh God. No one has been able to slam Congo Kong. Was anyone alive who could find it?
Body Slam, this here behemoth, Congo Kong. I had $2,000 for them. Well, tonight, I'm up in the ante to $3,000. Wow, imagine what that now, money could do. For the $300,000 man, that's chump change. But for all of you poor employees of Zellers and Radio Shack here in Mississauga, $3,000 is life-changing money. So who in the back has the cajones to come out here and try to change their life. Last week it was Ali. Unsuccessful. Oh, wait a minute now. This is a... Uh, it's a powerful young man right here, let me tell you. Now slow down, young man. How do you like this smell? You ever smelled $3,000 before? Well, he's out here in his pajamas, so I don't think so. What's your name, partner? I'm Mr. Atlantis. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Atlantis. Mr. Atlantis. All right, Mr. Atlantis, I got one simple question for you. Do you think you have what it takes to body slam? Congo, Kong! Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. All right, well, give it your best shot. Whoa, oh. look at the trapezius major on this kid, and he's got a weightlifting belt. I don't think that's going to be legal. Well, it's, it's going to protect his lower back. That's very important. Does it count if he does it and he's got the belt on, though? Getting a no pass to me? Yes, yes, it does. It does Is count. Is what it says? Yes. Here we go, Mr. Atlantis. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's going to get him. Oh. Now, I don't know about that. It looked like he was getting him up, and he cut him off. Is this against I, the rules? I thought he was supposed to allow him to lift it. Well, they've got some music playing here. Whoa! Muscles McGee. Muscles McGee. The proud Canadian. I have a feeling that business is about to pick up. Muscles McGee is hey, here. Hey, hey, you stop right there. The challenge is over and the $3,000 are no longer on the table. for the money. I'm out here for the people. All my Maple Leaf lovers and fellow brethren of the great country of the North, all Canada! Oh, and... Oh, look out. Here Don't goes. turn your back on this savage beast. The three, Congo Kong. The $300,000 man was thrown to the floor. He's going to have $3,000 in medical bills after this, in my opinion. Congo Kong and Muscles McGee. Now, we know that 3000 Canadian is worth about five, uh, five grand U.S. Yes. So if it's whoa, Canadian whoa, money, look out. Oh, my God, what he slammed him. And there you go. He is... Irresistible force and the immovable object. Three grand Canadian. He's got the bag and the money. Muscles McGee slams Congo Kong. Canada stands proud. In two weeks, the greatest IPWF champion returns to claim what's rightfully his. 
Let's go back to Boxing Day night last year when I was stripped of the title because of that son of a bitch, Jack Tunney, stripped me because I pile drove his piece of crap champion. And I've been banned in Canada, so I went up north and I broke Bruno's neck in front of Vince McMahon. And I slapped his little son, Vinny Jr. Cause I'm Tommy Dreamer. And I do whatever the hell I want to do. So, in two weeks, I don't care if it's Rose, Race, Bockwinkle, Backlund, Briscoes, Funks. I'm coming back and taking what's mine, you bunch of egg-sucking dogs. Giuseppe. Yes, Sexton. Are you a, fr a fan of the rap music? Yes. I was listening to some Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five the other day. And? Yeah. This rap thing has taken over the nation. The kids love it. Captain look, at that, Joystick. look at that physique on Captain Joystick. Can't believe that this, oh. There you go, that's an attitude adjustment right there. Captain Joystick is a pilot, flies all over the world. What are they? You think he's been to the Mile High Club, Giuseppe? Well, his right side flight attendant, her name is Miss Mile High. It's a strange name. Maybe they've joined this club you're talking about together. I think there's going to be some turbulence in this match if he continues this way. Turbulence, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens on a flight. It gets quite bumpy. All right, hold your horses. I'll come in. Sexton, you ever been on an airplane? Oh, yeah, all the time. I try to fly. I got to book my flights because you got to get a Saturday night stay over. You know what I mean? Very you're, a, you're a Northwest guy. I'm not Big Northwest wrestle, guy. You shut up. I like the first class cabin because I can smoke. I'm not going to wrestle until all I'll of you I'll tell you this, I'm going to buy stock in Northwest. They're going to be around forever. Oh, for sure. That and tobacco companies. There, it, it's a no-brainer. Put your money in tobacco, put folks. Put your money in tobacco. Put your money in tobacco. It's going to be around forever. Look at this now. Oh. DJ? Is, this is turning into a track meet. This is like a morning traffic on the runways of LaGuardia Airport in New York City. Sexton, you, you dropped your microphone. Miss Mile High. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he knows how to treat the ladies. Look at that. What a gentleman. Very nice. We might be in for some rough. Weather. Some rough air. Some rough air. The disc jockey too large just got knocked there by Captain Joystick. Why do they call him too large? Is he so tall? That's correct. He's a mountain of a man. I'm taking harder shots. His brother is one large. Is that, a, is that a joke or is that real? No, that's real. I don't joke around out here, Sexton. We're not really from our vantage point here at ringside. What is that made of? What? Coming soon to IPWF, our first pay-per-view event. That'll be available on closed circuit from three different areas. Yeah, if you can't get a ticket to the event, by all means, check out one of our special venues. You can be a part of a closed circuit experience, the likes of which you'll never see. It's gonna be amazing. DJ Too Large goes low, does Captain Joystick. 
This might be the night the music stopped, Giuseppe. Joystick threw the chair, then fell down, and then DJ put the chair. In. The smoking gun is on DJ. Too much. He's pretending. He's pretending. This mustache man is pretending. He's a captain of an airplane. You have to believe him. Look at these stooges in the crowd. This is like an episode of Three's Company out here. Nobody got hit with a chair. Nobody got hit with a chair. All we need is Mr. Roper. I promise you. Believe me. Believe me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait now. DJ's got his. Oh, when he puts that hat on. <laughs> Captain Joystick. Oh! Here's your winner, DJ Tulane. He calls that amazing spinning clothesline the platinum discus. Hello, and welcome to the cockpit. I'm your host, Captain Joystick, and with me, as always, is the lovely Miss Mile High. Now get ready to come on board and make sure you're seated in an upright position because we have a big show for you this week. My guest is a man who admittedly caught me off guard last week when he beat me in the middle of the ring. So I want to show that I'm a good sport and bring him on out here. So would you please welcome DJ Too Large. Now DJ, I was impressed with your wrestling skill and your athletic ability. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? You know what? We've heard your background story before. You grew up on the streets. You had a tough childhood. We get it. But that's not how you measure a man. You don't measure a man by his size. You don't measure a man by his wins and losses. You measure a man by the amount of class that he keeps himself at. And there's nobody, nobody classier than Captain Joystick. Isn't that right, Miss Mile High? I said, isn't that right? Oh, okay. of course, of course. Moving on. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your rap career? You know what? You can't even call rap music. There's not a first-class lounge in the world that would play rap music. Frank Sinatra would be embarrassed if he heard your song. So I've got one last question for you. See, I think you're trying to play me here, son. You know, I get it. When you're in that cockpit, you're in control of the world, you know. But I've been all over the world making music. I've made platinum records. I made gold records. In fact, check this out. Chilling here with Captain Joysticks. But I'm the cat with the huge hits. I bet you think you whip the huge shit. But I'll take your girl on a round trip. You know what? You're out of here. You're ejected from the cockpit. Fine, then I'll leave. This flight has landed. Gamma and Dada Singh are here. Oh! Sexton, they just threw a fire, a, a fireball. I, that was a fireball. I thought I was, I thought I hallucinated that. Into the eyes of Cowboy Colt McCoy. You're not hallucinating. That's messed up. That happened. That's messed up. So we, we, we need to get personnel out here. Bro, that's, that's messed up. We 
We're getting a nurse out here. No, we're going to need a doctor. A what? A, a, we need a medical, a trained medical doctor. So the doctors, they've told me after Gamma Singh threw a fireball into my eyeballs that there's retina damage, cornea damage, iris damage, damage to every bit of my eye. And honestly, he told me there's a 70% chance that my vision, my vision will never be the way it once was. 70% chance of that. But I will tell you what is 100%. 100% fact that I, Cowboy Colt McCoy, I am coming for you, Gama Singh. Fireball, it doesn't matter what you do. You will not stop me. I am Farm Strong. And Farm Strong cannot be stopped. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Big Blind Bull match. Introducing first, from Karachi, Pakistan, he's with Dada Singh. He has Gama Singh. Sex, can I understand that you know Gama Singh and Dada Singh very well? I was in the Stampede Wrestling territory with them for a number of months. Gama Singh has held every belt that there is. Wow. After what Gama did to Cowboy Colt McCoy one month ago, we just saw it, a fireball. I've never seen that before in my life. Threw that in the face of Colt McCoy. Do it? I don't know. How did you do it? How can you not be proud of Cowboy Colt McCoy? He's gonna persevere, he's gonna compete. He can barely see from what we understand. There's the Cowboy, Colt McCoy. Understand he's got a grandson who's a pretty good football player. You got that uh, bottle full of whiskey spit. Whiskey spit? Tobacco spit, I said. Oh, I think you said whiskey spit. No. I was going to ask what that is. It's because he's not allowed to spit indoors, so he puts it in a bottle. Oh, there it is right here in that front of us. That is disgusting. Cowboy Colt McCoy. How does he wrestle in cowboy boots, Giuseppe? Ah, he's a special That's kind of athlete. That's got to be hard. And, and dungarees. Gamma Singh. Has the been. leader of the Karachi Vice, as the t-shirt says. What's the Karachi Vice? So this is a blindfold match. Both athletes will have to put on the dreaded blindfold. Now I understand that the Cowboy, I understand that his vision has not really come back. So now you talk about evening the odds. Now they're both blind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this was a decision that was laid down by the IPWF management. Fans chanting for Colt McCoy. What a great name, isn't it? That's a, that's a man's name, Colt McCoy. Well, Gamma think, Singh, that's not a man's name. I think Giuseppe's I don't know what a, that is. a man's name. Giuseppe's the name for a small child who's lame. He has a bad leg. Bell rings, and we are underway in this blindfold match. You think Gamma in all of the matches that he's been in, what, your hand Have is Have you ever raised. got up okay. in the middle of the night, and you can't see, you can't find the light switch, you're trying to find the... the bathroom sure right and you can't see it's terrifying this is what they're experiencing right now they can't see yeah you call that tuesday afternoon can't after see hanging out with your friends yeah the crowd is gonna help the cowboy and i think this is unfair it's like a game of marco polo uh, what marco polo right well they're looking that, for each that was very close now gamma swinging wildly 
So, uh, Sexton, have you ever been in a blindfold match? I've been in a blindfold before. Not in a match. I guess you have to find your... Well, once in Puerto Rico, I had salt thrown in my eyes, and it was like having a blindfold on. I understand. I so. Look at that. Look at that. Dada Singh. He's messing with uh, the cowboy. He touches him, and then he thinks it's Gama. That's smart strategy. Gama, the youngest son of Dada. Gama's the youngest son? The youngest son. How many sons does Dada have? 18. 18. Whoa. Whoa, wild swing there. If he'd hit that, it'd be over. The fans letting Cowboy Colt McCoy know that he's straight ahead. Oh, I like this. Oh, look at Gama peeking. Gama's peeking. Oh, and there's that big right hand we talked about. He's My cheating. God. He's cheating. You can't do, you can't peek. You gotta, there's gotta be some integrity. Look at this now. The cowboy doesn't know where he is. Gama with a drop down. Oh, leapfrog! He thinks he's leapfrog. there. He thinks he oh, hip tossed hip -toss. him. He's not, he's not there, Sexton. He's not trying to hip toss him. He's not hip tossing anybody. He's going, he's trying to go he's for a getting cover. getting tired now. Now, I like this. I would stay down on the ground. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Stay How would you know if ground. you were on the ground? You're blindfolded. This is the smell. Ah. Oh. Whoa, 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 look out now. This could be a pinfall. Uh, instead, Cowboy whoa. looks for the big stomp. Those boots are double enforced at the heel. Yeah, I maintain that those are steel-toed boots. The referee should check them. And now, watch Dada. Letting Gama know he's in the corner. He's safe there. Sexton, what are you doing? You see my gimmick bag? No, I'm not seeing your gimmick bag. You were told to stop bringing that out here. Look at this now. He feels it with the help of uh, Dada saying, come on, come on. Dada is on the apron. Oh, look out now. Big shot That's there. That's a big right hand all the way from West Texas, Daddy. From the Cowboy, Colt McCoy. Watch out now. He's got one sing go. down. Who's going to, whoa. whoa. Look out, Cowboy! Oh, oh God! That was like a what a horrible some sort of a neck breaker or something or a cover and a victory. Version of the Ace Crusher. We're gonna wait. We're gonna get our announcement from our ring announcer. Mr. Stevenson. Here's your winner, the Cowboy, Cole McCoy. I think, I think we send the Iceman into the ring, get an interview with the winner. Iceman's going to take it away inside the ring. He's with Cowboy, Colt McCoy, Victoria. Whoa, hey. I, I want to get a couple words right now with the winner, Victoria. What? That right there, that right there. It's farm strong, baby! Colt McCoy, ladies and gentlemen, what a tremendous victory. I mean, you really took it to him, and I don't even know what, what. That, That's what I do. That's what I do. I do it for the people here. I do it for the working man. I do it for my mama. I do what it the, for what? my wife. Wait hey, 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 out of here. Hey, the Soviets. What are the Soviets doing? The dirty communists. They're going after the no, cowboy. No. They're laying out the cowboy. The Soviets have attacked. What the hell is going on? The Soviets have attacked. Cold War indeed. They got the Russian chain around the neck of the cowboy. That's somebody stop this. Bruiser and Sergey. Bruiser Brezhnev and. Look out! Hey, get Look him! Out. Get him. your idiot father! Get him, Pop! Get him out of here! Get him, Pop. He's seen enough. Tell him, Pop! Yeah, you tell him. Oh, no, 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 no! No! He's an old no. man! That's, He's an old man! You can't do it to my dad! They're gonna kill your father. You can't do that to my dad! Okay, no, no! They've got a Russian flag! They're gonna put the Russian flag on the cowboy! Stop! They're gonna put the no. Russian flag on no. the cowboy! No! Get it off! No! Get it off the cowboy! 
Never in my life. This is going to be World War III, Giuseppe. I can't believe what we witnessed here tonight. Help your father, you little wimp. I guess I have to take over the territory. I can't believe what we saw here. You're communist bastards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to IAPWF. What just happened moments ago with Cowboy Colt McCoy and, and my father, Giuseppe, I, I, the, the, the Soviets attacked, and nobody's safe. We'll put the Russian flag on the cowboy. Se Sexton, I, here, here's a microphone. I don't know, I don't. We'll put the Russian flag on the cowboy. I don't know what's gonna happen. Colt McCoy. We're World War III here. Y yeah, yeah, the Cold War is definitely going to continue. We're, we're moments away from our main event for the International Commonwealth Television Championship. And there's, there's, there's oh, my dad. Oh, no. The Soviets. <laughs> oh. oh, Pop. He's Giuseppe. freaking out. Giuseppe, He's freaking out. Giuseppe, the promoter. What the heck just happened in that ring? You know? I took every penny my family shop ever make, and I put it in the IPWF for every one of these Canadian people. Yeah. I know the people are very happy about you, Zeppi, what you did. You lost your $300 cigar. I'm outraged right now. I can't believe it. Listen, those guys, they come over here, and they disrespect our culture as Canadians, and they go out there, and you see what they do to a guy like Cowboy Colt. So, yeah, so I'll tell you one thing. I don't care my doctor say with my hip I can't go to the ring no more. But next week right here, I'm going to lace the boots up one more time. I'm going to take this chain, this chain that the Pope, he, he blessed just for me, for my Nona. I'm going to take it as a Rolex watch one last time and unclip. And I'm going to go to the ring with the Cowboy Colt. Yeah. And are we going to beat those scuzzy, dirty commies yeah. all the way back to where they came from? Yeah. Hey, and one more thing. You go to the concession stand for the rest of the night, the hot dogs. They're now one half off. Popcorn, too. That's my pop. Way to go! Is, that, is this is this a real Rolex? Yes, it is, and it belongs to my father. That's I think not I yours. Need a race. That's mine, Saxton. I I'm need gonna put that over here, folks. We're just moments away from our main event for the uh, for, for the International Commonwealth Television Championship. It's a mess here at ringside. I think that downtown Daddy Brown is. Of course, that's not my cigar. My cigar's right here. You ready for this, Saxton? Is that apple juice? No. Oh. Yes. Let's get back to the action. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event. Introducing first, it is for the International Commonwealth Television Championship, and the loser must leave town. Introducing first, from Steeltown, Hamilton, Ontario, Downtown, Daddy Brown, he's a common man. He's a factory worker, a steel worker at Hamilton Steel, right down the road from where we stand here tonight. And his opponent being accompanied by his manager, Sonny Sanders, making his winter home in Montreau, Quebec. He is the International Commonwealth Television Champion, Julian Cumberbund. Julian Cumberbund, a traveling champion, makes his winner home in Montreal with his manager. Sonny Sanders, and the loser will never be heard from again here in IPWF.
Downtown Daddy Brown. Sexton, do you know his first name? Downtown. It's our main event. The loser is going to leave town, and it happens right after this. This is our main event for the International Commonwealth Television Championship. The champion in yellow, Julian Cumberbun. His manager is Sonny Sanders at ringside. The opponent, downtown Daddy Brown, who will head to Hamilton Steel tomorrow morning and would love to bring the championship with him. Need to get a clean break here. This referee's gonna have to keep this one under control. Well, you've got Sonny Sanders on the out, and there, that, that's, that's the kind of man that uh, Julian Cumberbun is. You notice Julian likes to wear those trunks a little low on the waist, likes to keep it low. The reason he does that is because you're not allowed to hit below the belt in this territory. I see. So he, he, he brings the chunks high, is what you're saying? No, they're low. They're low. Oh! Most wrestlers wear them higher than that. Gotcha. Downtown Daddy Brown and Julian's trying to get out of the territory with his championship intact. What kind of guy do you think Sonny Sanders is? He's a spoiled, entitled brat. Julian tied up and downtown. Taking this fight to Main Street. Downtown Daddy Brown is a local hero. Imagine. Well, I can tell you that he doesn't want to win this by a count out. I don't think he'd become champion if he won by count out. No, I'm just a manager. Sonny? I am just a manager. Just a manager. Watch, watch out. Watch out downtown. Oh, look at him go. He's running like a scalded dog. He's over here. What a weasel. What a He's piece of garbage. Downtown. Total piece of garbage. This game and stole some popcorn off the table. Disgusting. Downtown is taking it to the people. He's taking Julian into the crowd. Who beat me is this? Look at look at downtown. He's getting interactive with our great fans. You certainly get your money's worth every week, folks, at IPWF. Downtown. He's gonna oh big right hand. Another right hand, and a left, and a left. These are closed fists. Referee needs to get this under control. Look out now. Down to, oh, Julian with a, that was a bit of a low kick there, Sexton. South of the border. Downtown closes the gap quickly on Julian Cumberbun. Watch out, watch out for Sonny with that, with that tennis I racket. I didn't see that. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Covered by Julian in a near fall. That's an illegal chokehold by Julian Cumberbun, the champion. He's a spoiled jerk. You notice Julian has the knee pads down over his shins on his boots. What does that mean? He's trying to expose the calcified kneecaps. The referee should really get a handle on that. And look yeah. at this now. Oh, God. Oh, look at Sonny. Oh, look at, look this. at Sonny. Look at this, this piece jerk. of trash. You piece of garbage. What a piece of trash. He's acting like he did nothing wrong out here. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, Sexton. Look at this. Somebody's got to stop this. Julian showing off inside the ring. Oh! 
this is our main event here tonight. This is a main event anywhere in the world. Featured contest for IPWF. Imagine if they had wrestling anywhere in the world. Yeah. Figure four, figure four. This is a good way to get your leg broke. This is a dangerous solution maneuver. Downtown's in trouble. Downtown's in trouble. I tell you, you need a second referee when these two are out here. Yeah, because Sonny, Sonny Sanders, Julian Cumberbund, he's got a lot, look at this, look at this. Sexton, come on. You're a former champion. Get out there and do something about this. I've been advocating for a second official on the field for a long time. I promise. Watch, watch. Oh, and it's oh, no, reversed. They reversed it. That reverses the pressure, Giuseppe. Now it's all on Julian, who has the ropes, and downtown Danny Brown had to break at five, or else he would have been disqualified. Would not have been able to win the International Commonwealth Television Championship. The most coveted title in the world. You watch our TV program in three different provinces. Amazing, the growth of IPWF. Close fists is like a bar brawl, not a wrestling match. Referee letting them play, letting them go here. We've seen all sorts of action tonight. Sonny Sanders trying to get this crowd to chant for Julian. That's not gonna happen. Big elbow. How much do you think Julian weighs? 261 pounds. He's a big boy. So is downtown Daddy Brown. Julian Cumberbund recently went to a 60-minute draw with Billy Robinson in Osaka, Japan. Look at this. Referee breaks it up and a near fall at two. 60 minutes, huh? Oh. 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 You can hear Julian writhing in pain, digging for oxygen. I got this. You got this, Julian. Sonny Sanders saying, you got this. Fans still chanting for downtown. Will we crown a new international Commonwealth Television champion Julian, here this you'll evening. Be my uptown girl. Thank you. No, they're gonna go. You're gonna go downtown. You're going downtown. Thank you. Those are fighting words. I'd like to know the origin story of how Sonny Sanders and Julian became an idol. Probably went to the same spoiled private school. Julian comes up empty in the corner, and here comes downtown Daddy Brown. Fire up the Volkswagen. They're going downtown. Got me one of those new K cars. I like to buy American. It's very forward thinking of you. Don't do it. Look at this. Cover by downtown. New champion. Hey, look at look at Sonny. Look at Sonny Sanders. That rotten dirt bag. What a wimp. Took the boot of Julian and put it on the bottom rope. Total nerd. Total nerd. Now arguing with the fans here at ringside. Come on, downtown. Oh, bolo punch. Look at, look at Sonny. Get up for the bolo punch, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. Yes, he finally got his hands on Sonny Sanders. And he's going to get exact. Look at, look at Julian. Julian with a tennis racket. Julian's going to retain his championship. He's going to stand downtown, kicked out. 
How did he do that? Sexton, can you believe it? Come on, downtown Daddy Brown. Sonny's got downtown. No! Julian! Schoolboy cover! New champion! Oh, New, champion. New champion! New champion! Champion downtown, Daddy Brown. Not only do we have a new international Commonwealth Television Champion here tonight, but Julian Cumberbun is out of here. He's got to leave, and here come the stars of IPWF to celebrate with the new champion. See you, bye, Julian Cumberbun. Hey, 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 goodbye. And in the end, what a celebration. What a night for the winner and the new champion. Downtown we go with Downtown Daddy Brown. The celebration is on in Canada. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving, folks. We'll see you next week for IPWF.